We're talking about Stripe on the latest funding board. The online payments company just raised a fresh $150 million, valuing the business at $9 billion. And with that, Stripe's co-founders and brothers, Patrick and John Collison, have become Ireland's youngest billionaires. Joining us now for more, Bloomberg Billionaires reporter Tom Metcalf. So tell us a little bit about the ownership structure that the Collisons have. Yeah, so they've got a fairly big chunk of Stripe. Basically, the founder owner pool stands at 29%, uh, which for a unicorn is pretty impressive unless you're right in the top tier. Stripe clearly is. And so with that, they both, we split that pool equally. So they've got 14.5% of, as you say, a $9 billion company. So they've had a, a pretty good Thanksgiving weekend. So how does this compare to you know, Evan Spiegel at Snapchat, Travis Kalanick at Uber? Yeah, so uh, these kind of top tier unicorns, typically these founders get diluted a bit less, even when they're raising billions of dollars. So right at the top end Is that of the because they simply have so much control over the company? Exactly. Well, it's just because all the investors are clamoring to get in. So it's a real sort of have or have nots. Um, you know, if, you, if investors are willing to pay anything to get into an Uber or an Airbnb, then they're going to take less dilution or try and impose less dilution. So Uber, they've got about 23%. And then right at the top end, you've got Airbnb with 42%, which is pretty incredible. Uh, given they've raised or ha raised about 1.5 billion dollars. And what is the latest round of funding? What do they intend that money to be used for? So yeah, Snap don't uh, keep their cards close to their chest. Uh, they're sort of they're definitely expanding internationally, which will probably be one main sort of cost center. But also building new products and perhaps also just having a bit of runway. You know, never knowing what the funding environment is going to be like. And you know, they got a pretty good deal right now. That's 150 million at nine billion dollar valuation. So take the money while it's out there.